uh, come back to the channel if you're watching me for the first time my name is seed and i am super super excited to meet you again guys we're checking out the video today and this one is titled what sweden brings to nato okay guys i only know about finland that finland joined nato okay i never knew sweden also joined nato <laughs> all right guys i'm super excited to check this out if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please smash the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell guys so you don't miss out whenever i upload a new video okay to my returning subscribers i love you guys so so much thank you guys for always always tuning in but i waste too much of your time guys let's check this out the country of Sweden just joined NATO this week. What do they bring to the table? Well, surprisingly, it's a lot. If you fired an AT-4 or a Carl Gustav or a Beaufort as you fired a Swedish weapon. So why does a peaceful country like Sweden with only 10 million or so people have an arms industry which produces their own tanks and artillery, armored personnel carriers, fighter jets, and submarines? Well, for the longest time, Sweden wasn't exactly in the best of neighborhoods. It lives between Finland, a nation that was under Russian and later the Soviet sphere of influence, and I guess then under the Russian sphere of influence again, and Norway, which was a founding member of NATO. And the problem was that during the Cold War, you might have to go through Sweden to get to Norway. So you want a large army to deter this possibility, yeah, and you want your own arms guys. industry to control your own protection. I mean, look at Ukraine. You never want to be dependent on another country for arms. So if you have your own arms yeah, production, you can pretty much it. dictate the terms of your own defense. Now, normally this is done by pariah states like South Africa or Serbia. Sorry, all my Serbian fans. I, I do love you because nobody will sell them weapons. But Sweden took a different approach by creating an arms industry precisely so they could remain neutral. And just because they're neutral doesn't mean they don't deploy. Sweden has contributed troops to the K-4 mission in Kosovo, for example. They also have troops in Iraq to help the Iraqis fight Daesh. So what is Sweden bringing to NATO? Well, they bring a world-class army of roughly 26,000 or so soldiers, including reserves. They also bring a world-class air force with about 2,700 personnel and roughly 100 or so aircraft. They have a relatively small navy for their coastline with about 2,100 personnel, four submarines, and about 20 corvette and patrol boats. Sweden also has a coast guard, although their ships are more for rescue and they don't carry offensive weapons. Now, Sweden had conscription during the Cold War, and you can theoretically be recalled up to age 70 during time of war. Conscription was abolished in 2010, but then it was brought back in 2018, and now it's gender neutral, so both men and women can be conscripted. It's not total conscription like Israel, uh, but about 10% of the population is conscripted in Sweden, and their total defense policy is designed to prepare the country mentally for conflict. So that being said, I'm sure you noticed the uh, Swedish patches behind me. I just moved into a new house, and since I smoke in this room, I wanted to build a barn door to kind of keep the smoke in. I was a carpenter, so I know a little bit. While building the door, I noticed that the wood was made in Sweden. So I decided to call this the Grippen door, and it will be reserved just for Swedish patches. So uh, this here is a Jaeger patch. The Jaegers are the Swedish Army Rangers, uh, a light infantry elite unit. This is a patch from the Swedish contingent, the United Nations Peacekeeping Force in Cyprus. This is a Blue Berets Motorcycle Club stencil, which is a club for deployed veterans from Sweden and Denmark. This patch here is the, I might pronounce this wrong, Södermanland Regiment, which was probably one of the oldest regiments that at least I've ever heard of. And it lasted from 1627 until it was disbanded in the year 2005. So those patches are actually pretty rare. And this one here is for the Home Guard in Stockholm, which is Sweden's Army Reserves. So thank you, Leif and John, for the patches. If you're from Sweden and you'd like to send a patch, I'll put it right up there. You can do so at the address in the pinned comments below. And hey, if you want to support the channel, grab one of my Live Laugh Launch shirts from Bunker Branding or sign up for my Substack. Uh, it's free or you can pay five bucks if you want. And I show you all the stuff on my Substack that I can't show you on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. And hey, Sweden, welcome to NATO.
okay you guys this video and by the way i'll be leaving his link to his youtube channel on the description please go to his channel and subscribe do all the good stuff to his channel okay guys this video is not as detailed as i thought it would okay but maybe hopefully someone in the comment section will recommend a better video okay guys sweden joined nato despite the fact that they seem to be peace does not mean they should be relaxed okay so i understand why they had to join nato for more protection okay that's amazing okay guys thank you guys for watching if you have any suggestions or recommendations always drop in the comment section okay thank you guys for watching and see you guys in my next video bye